Time Magazine releasing the cover for its newest edition today. It's the now famous photo of a child crying at the border, but they put the president staring down at that crying toddler with the words, Welcome to America. Just one problem. The father of that child spoke exclusively to the Daily Mail and said she was never separated from his mom, her mom. He said he was told yesterday that his wife and child are being detained at a family residential center in Texas. They are together and doing fine. Let's talk about it with our panel tonight. Former senior advisor to Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, Philippe Rhinus, and syndicated radio talk show host Chris Plant. They're both chomping at the bit, I feel it, before we even get started on this. Um, Chris, do you think that, that time is going to clarify that picture at all now that we have the backstory from the dad? I don't think they really care. You know, I don't think they care what the truth is behind the story. It's, it, gets, it gets a lot worse than that, too. If you see the interview in the story with the father, who remains in Honduras, he's, the, he's got a good job. He's the captain of a boat at a busy port. Uh, he says that uh, his wife left on uh, June 3rd at 6 o'clock in the morning, hasn't seen or heard from her since. So it's nice that he got the update from the media. Uh, he said, you know, she left and uh, things there are, you know, fine, not great, but fine, which I guess is the new standard for uh, mm. becoming a refugee or getting asylum or whatever it is in the United States of America, that your husband's job is good, fine, but not great. So you walk across the desert for three weeks and you show up in the United States and get a gift basket or something. It's well, completely ridiculous. I mean, Philippe, he did say he was very worried about them because his wife had <laughs> talked about doing this. He was against it and she left with their youngest child. There are other children, but he said she wanted to live the American dream and that's why she came. The truth of the matter is simple. There are more than 2,000 of those little girls that have been separated from their parents. And I think to nitpick about the iconic photo rather than the powerful message that it's capturing, that what's happened these last few weeks has just gone to the heart of problem of who we are as a country, who we let in, how we treat them. I, I don't think the point is that particular girl. She didn't look very happy to me. No, the point is, the toddlers point is that particular toddlers we, often don't look like that. I mean, they look just like that. They don't look okay. happy. The point we're is taking uh, kids away from their parents. That's well, the you issue. Know, like Barack no, they Obama. were together. In that case, no, in they were general, together. But I'm general. just saying, uh, we need to be honest about we, we, each story we, and what we're covering. The covered. honest story is that more than 2,300 children have been taken away from their parents. Barack Obama handed dozens of children over to child traffickers who use them for sex child trafficking, use them for labor trafficking. We handed them over to traffickers under Obama, dozens. If there were one case of that under President Trump, there would be cars upside down burning in intersections across America. The fact that the president, President Obama, all these pictures we're seeing in the news media are from 2014. We do have some of, of those, but we want to be very clear when we show these pictures that these are pictures from 2014. But those are the pictures that have made everyone hysterical over the right, course of the last week. Right, it did start with week. these, but to be accurate, The girls this is, in the cage sleeping. Right, that this was started under the Obama this whole thing a couple of weeks ago from the Obama administration. Jay Johnson was on MSNBC, dare I say, this afternoon with Andrea Mitchell saying, well, yes, we, we did increase the number of uh, family uh, families that we broke up, that we broke up they had to increase the number of beds because of the number that's of children not, they took away but primarily said. it is what he said i have the transcript Jay, Jay right Johnson here Johnson said that it was not their pol policy to separate children from their parents and they but did so under very severe circumstances uh, where it, it was for sometimes. health or for criminal reasons well, right. And, this is and something. Let's be clear. Let's just talk about the here and now. Crossing into country illegally is a criminal issue. It's a legal matter. It's against the law. No one's now, saying Now, President it's okay. Obama gave up on enforcing the law and allowed everyone a catch and release, just a, a pass through at the border. Now. I don't think most Americans just want to have an open border. The Democrats clearly want to have an open border. That appears to be unambiguously the position well, of the Democratic Party. You can't possibly be for this. But, <laughs> but Felice, for, what, uh, no, what, what is the resolution, though? Because the, they, resolution, the, the, the outcry that we had was that they were being separated, and it tugged at everybody. It seemed like a horrible way for this to be handled. So the president signs the executive order say they can stay together. And now we have Democrats saying, no, that's not good enough either. They all need to be released. Right. So what is the real agenda? Let, let's be clear here. The Democrats in Congress have about as much control about what goes on there as I do right now. Well, they control Fox the News. Senate. If no, you if you can't no. get the nine together, they they're promising they to shut down. The guys, the, uh, Schumer the will House, shut down anything that gets out of the House. The and White you know House it. is Republican. The Congress yeah. is Republican. Uh, and it was and then, Democrat and, under and the Obama when they're handing the children over to sex traffickers. Republicans couldn't even get their own caucus today That's true. to get on the same page mm -hmm. about a bill. That's true. Yesterday, 
Who's arguing on the floor? It is Speaker Ryan uh -huh. and Mark Meadows right. are at each other's face. Well, they're taking up the business this of the, the country, unlike it, the no, Democrats, which no. are taking up the business of the party Chris, and community. promising to obstruct Here, here's and the do problem. nothing else. Here, here's and, and I mean, honestly, I mean, for the party of Planned Parenthood, Hillary Clinton has a Planned Parenthood award, a Margaret I'm amazed. Sanger award. We made it seven minutes a, plan, a Planned Hillary Parenthood Spall. award. And, and, and to turn around and say that, oh, we love children so much. Last week, the Democrats were in love with the American flag because it was on a stage uh, next to the North Korean flag. And it was the first time in my life that the Democrats rose up to defend All the right, flag. All right, I want to get too far they're, off track. Being, we are talking about everything except <laughs> for Fully, children. Fully, who final are. word to you. And this yeah. week, they care about children very deeply. Right, I'm not buying I, it. I think there's final a little word. bit of a problem in that the right is upset with the left that we can never see anything the president does as good, that it's all terrible. Mm -hmm. The flip side of that, though, is that the right can see nothing the president does as even remotely wrong. This I last week, there's a lot of voices. You know, right now, if you were going to say it, it would be right now, because this last week was an absolute epic fail. He lied about putting this policy in place. He lied about not being able to change it. And then he got caught lying. All right. And I'm no political expert, but that's a bad series of events. But you are a political expert. <laughs> All right, we got to leave Michelle it there. Both sex of our trafficking. Oh, okay. <laughs> On that note, uh, gentlemen, come back soon. <laughs>